Hello and welcome to State of the Table. My name is Ryan, also known as Reziel. This is my weekly hobby table update video uh, where we can just get a quick look and see what is going on. Try to keep these as close to five minutes as possible. That is the the running gag because I usually go way over, but we'll see if we can't uh, get it as close as we can today. So if you are new to the channel or you are getting uh, any value out of the content, please do consider hitting that uh, like button share with friends, subscribe uh, to see more content coming your way, and uh, hit that notification bell to uh, keep up to date. And so uh, without further ado, let's uh, kind of get on the topic of this week, uh, which really is just a continuation of last week. I'm deep into that uh, Dark Angel Army project, and uh, so I have quite a bit of bikes and speeders on my table. Uh, so really what we're kind of looking at this week is uh, some of that um, a little bit more in detail than we did previously so I was able to get a lot of these old bike kits uh, that are uh, attack bikes kind of like refurbed either cleaned up like this one where it's uh, just got some uh, some sanding and, and uh, cleanup of the old paint that had to be done as well as on the uh, the bike itself trying to clean up basically for the for the new coat I've got most of the bikes with their actual uh, bolters attached now as well um, but uh, a couple of them I don't because I was still doing a little bit of work fixing up some of the bolters I, I don't have enough newer ones to give them all like brand new ones so some of them have to be uh, older ones that I have uh, put back together and maybe didn't have like the best barrel drill out originally so I've been filling those up with some sprue goo and I will clean them up and re-drill them and get them attached and stuff like that so that's that's part of that there another deal with the bikes is also um, getting the riders ready for actually the motorcycles themselves and then the torsos for the gunners and stuff like that so been going through and doing an extra thorough job of getting these guys mocked up and cleaned up because these are some uh, old kits where you get stuff like these arms that need to be uh, nice and cleanly sanded where they have pretty good mold lines and uh, uh, nubs and stuff from the sprue on there already so that's stuff that you gotta, gotta take care of as well I'm working with some like older backpacks and things like that so uh, quite a bit of work to be done on those to make them cleaner oh drop the dude <laughs> to also make those cleaner and come out uh, nice and uh, hopefully smooth silky smooth for the paint jobs to come later now I'm, I'm one of those guys that kind of I do a little bit uh, kind of a less is more uh, type of deal so for me I don't like to stick a ton of Dark Angels bits all over the bikes I kind of like the the classic uh, minimal bike look and I just usually add the Ravenwing symbol onto the front fairing and then uh, I'll like upgrade the torsos uh, so where it's got like the Dark Angel specific um, chest uh, on some of them but not all of them and then I will like do some of the heads as well uh, that have Dark Angel symbols or Ravenwing symbols uh, as well some Corvus ones things like that and uh, get those going um, as well as some of these uh, other deals like uh, I've got some previous guys that I had been working on a long time ago that'll actually get retouched uh, but this is one of the examples of one of those one of those heads even though he's got a normal chest but he is a uh, actually like a speeder speeder driver guy and uh, speaking of that I do have the vengeance back here uh, that was originally my dark shroud uh, this will also get reworked a bit um, because it was painted uh, a long time ago and I'll probably touch that up but what I did was I uh, got rid of the dark shroud parts and I will add more of the vengeance parts like the bit that goes here and probably one of the antenna and I had I have uh, this part was always loose um, but I have fully magnetized the plasma cannons the vengeance uh, bits <laughs> so those are good they are uh, 
very nicely magnetized. Uh, and um, I'm going to be doing a similar deal with like the uh, this second Talon Master, which is a newer uh, speeder kit release, so it was actually went, to be went together nicer and it was able to be sanded smoother with less seam lines and stuff like that, and I will be able to put uh, the the uh, the double assault like this guy has already uh, on the chin. Uh, this one is like permanently done, um, but I will on say like this kit do a deal uh, like I have done in the past where I put a magnet into the chin of the speeder uh, that matches the one that's in the bracket for the cannons and that's the cannons I've been doing some work on and getting those barrels drilled out and getting them all nice and cleaned up and ready to go so I got that and then we're gonna have uh, the twin heavy bolter that goes for that Talon Master as well. That'll get the, its barrels drilled, and then it will attach with a, uh, a dude. Now I had a uh, had a deal where you can actually put a magnet in the the waist there, and then also in the bottom of the torso of the next guy, and just kind of get them uh, swappable. So I'll do that for both of these guys on this one, and this one will be a swappable speeder. It won't always have to be a Talon Master. I'll be able to swap it back and forth. So that's the plan with that. And really, that's it. I mean, right now, I just uh, got that going on. Um, got the uh, table set up in uh, pretty much build mode right now. That's why there's really not much painting going on. Uh, actually, zero painting going on at the moment. And then uh, after that's done, I'll get in and do some uh, some painting, and I'll get back on those uh, infiltrators and my speeders and stuff like that. And I'll, uh, you know, get everything cleaned off, uh, from, from any dust that may have, may have occurred and then, uh, get back to doing that. The only other thing I've really been doing this week was, um, uh, trimming down my game table. So I, uh, had a, had a four by eight game table, um, for just cause it was a four by eight sheet, sheet of, uh, plywood that I had mounted to an old, uh, dining table. And I, plan, I may have plans to move it into this room where, where I'm working, so uh, I needed to cut cut some size off of it. And uh, we only need 4x6, so I cut it down to 4x6, uh, cut a couple feet off of that. So that was a quick project that I did, and uh, that's it. So I uh, haven't had a, a ton of time to spend on the hobby table, really just a few quick sessions here this week. Uh, it's getting on springtime, so there's a lot of... A lot of things that need done around the house, and this week is spring break for the kids, so fingers crossed I'll get to get some work done. We will see. <laughs> but that is it pretty much for this time, y'all. Do please uh, check out the other social media, Instagram, at little eiao, that's L-I-T-T-L-E-I-A-O. And that is all we got. Hope you guys have a great one. Bye for now.